What's up, mushroom people? So, welcome. If you're a new viewer, thanks for coming along and checking us out. Um, the recent patch has improved docking, so now we get double from our extenders. So what I'm going to be doing in this video is I'm going to be expanding the pulse ship, and then I'm going to see the performance I'm going to get from this thing. So, uh, I'm going to get set up, and I will see you there. Okay, so here I am. Immediately, the first thing I've noticed is there's a blue square in here. I'm not really quite sure what that is. Um, the key thing to make this work is you have to actually make sure that this here, I'll just come out of the ship, you have to make sure that this is your output. Otherwise, your ship will wobble. Okay, so just bear that in mind. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building a giant cross to fill this entire area. Now, I'm going to do another variant, but this is the one that was fastest overall in the end. So I'm going to use what I've already got on the front end and just expand the back. So, the first thing we're going to do is take out the sides. So, those are the sides gone. <laughs> And the next thing we're going to do is put some symmetry on, so we hit odd symmetry, put the YZ in the middle, and the XY in the middle, there we go, right, and then we're going to select our pulsator block, and hit C on the uh, computer first, so they're all linked, and you see purple line over the ones that are there, this is something else which I saw, this has never been on the ship, so unless this is like it's possible that I scaled this down and it's sort of remembering where they used to be. So the first thing I'm going to actually do is I'm going to put them in this area. Okay. Oh, I see. So this is indicating how big the ship is actually taking up. That's what the blue box does. That's very cool. Right. So I've put them there and they're not actually linked, which is interesting. So now I'm going to take them away. And this is something which I learned to get rid of those ghosts see these sort of ghost blocks you can see where I'm putting them where they're already highlighted all right and now I'm going to take them away and then those floating squares are gone I just want it to be clean that's all and now I can put them back on you see there's the purple box on them now it's a bit I think that's just a bug but I want to make sure that I've got the thing on here which is okay where's where's the box gone hang on hang on we got problems. Uh, Houston? We have a problem. And it's not letting me switch between them. Something's wrong. Is it not docked anymore? Yeah, it's not docked anymore. I broke it! Oh, docking area is too small. Right, okay, so I must have gone too far. So let's try taking a few of these off. Okay. That's interesting. So it actually kicked me out, uh, even though I was nowhere near the build limit. So... Eh, broke. Okay, so... Um, let's just have a look at this, shall we? There we go, okay. Now, oh, we've moved. Let's just uh, right the ship. Uh, there we go. Now, so let's see. How many extenders do we have? We've got one, two, three, four, five extenders. And that allows us to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And the fourteenth breaks it. So 14 and 5, maybe one of them doesn't count, I don't know, I don't know how it works. Regardless, this is as big as we can make it, so I wonder how many it's going to take to break, this, break the side. <clears throat> okay, one, oh wait, yeah, of course, in order to get, well, let's experiment with this. So, let's bring it out here, I normally go in the middle. See, that should have broken it. Doesn't seem to have broken it yet. And again. And again. 
and it's broken. Right, okay, back in the thing. Up we go. Right, so that's as far as it will go. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it breaks at eleven going that way. Even though we've only got two extenders, or one on each side. <laughs> this is weird. This is really weird. <laughs> okay, so we'll get away with ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. On a bet. Let's just do it. Yep, yeah, broke it. Okay. Move up a little bit. Quite slow. Um. Oh dear. Okay, so I found out what it was. The problem was that uh, the when it was it wasn't straight. <laughs> so when it was diagonal, the tips were in the eleventh block. <laughs> so it was too big. So it looks like that's the that's all I can actually use from that, which is a bit weird because I thought the bigger block. But anyway, that's how it works. So <laughs> I'll try making one with no extenders, uh, no enhancers rather, and uh, see how that works out. So looking at the computer, what have we got? We've got 881 newtons, a radius of 13 meters, and a reload of six seconds. It is a lot better than it than it was before. Um, I'm just going to beef it up a little bit with some more power. Just a little bit of power. Doesn't really need much power, to be honest. Um, and then I think we'll put a couple of thrusters on the back, uh, just in case it gets separated from the uh, front module. Okay, oh. Well, yeah, that's how it's going to look, okay. Um, and yeah, we'll need to put a couple more of the power blocks in there, just to clean that up. There we go. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it. There we go. Alright, yeah, okay. So we've got a mass of 6.6 .6 and a thrust of 4. The mothership has a mass of 1.8 and a thrust of 4. So I've got a mass of 1.8 and 881 newtons, 881 newtons, 1.8 mass, this should fly, okay, so uh, let's just go from one end of the hangar to the other, It'll be an interesting little test, so we'll aim in the clear section here, I'm probably just going to bounce off the walls, pulse test, Kicking off in three, two, one. Yeah, six seconds and it'll pulse again. Uh, I need a faction block to open that door. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> okay. Okay, so I, uh, Right, so I'm going to continue looking at all my various little prototypes, and I just spawned this one in, and it just fell out of its dock. So I've had to remove a few things, because it did fit quite snugly there. And as you can see, red, and green. Go figure. Okay. So I asked really nicely, and it decided to dock. So... Um, yeah, I'm not really entirely sure what's going on, but uh, this was the carrier build, so it's got... I'm trying to find the latest version of my engine. That's what I'm really interested in. So let's just pull this one into the, uh, into the dock. Do you know what I can do with? I can do with some more thrusters. Looks like I'm going to have to split this video up, guys. Um, thanks for watching, and continue with the next one if you want to. Thanks again.